High tide has washed up garbage and filth from the sea back to Mumbai shores and beaches. Lawyer and environmentalist Afroz Shah, responsible for several beach cleanups, has, says, has said it is the BMC's responsibility to check this. But they aren't because the waste is coming from slum pockets of the city, which are illegal. See, this what you see, the plastic on the beach is what is addressed all over the world as marine debris or marine litter. Now, marine debris and marine litter are different from land-based garbage. We as society, we tend to equate them both together. So we tell the BMC, oh, garbage, clean up, clean up. But it's not that simple. See, and I speak purely from my experience at the ground level. I've been cleaning the beaches, the mangroves, working with people on changing their mindset for three years. There are a lot of uh, slum pockets, which I call them wadi, who are now settled there. Okay, and they constitute 60% of Mumbai's population. And they, are, they do not have a good recycling or waste uh, collection or waste segregation mechanism there. Okay, if you ask BMC why it is not happening, they will say that it is illegal. For illegal colonies, we do not provide uh, support services like this. But in the bargain, the environment and the ocean suffers. You have to make sure that those people have a proper waste segregation mechanism where they are taught how to segregate and not only segregate, it is taken up by proper trucks and then recycled. So, so then tell me this, uh, I was at Marine Drive today. I looked at the kind of garbage that was uh, on the streets of, uh, of Marine Drive and uh, we saw plastic, we saw glass bottles, thermocol, all, kind of things, all kinds of things. Uh, what is the percentage of the kind of waste that we see in, in what's being thrown out? See, I'll tell you, if you typically take one kg, Okay, and I speak purely from my experience at the ground, lifting it. I put, if I fill a tub for you, we'll segregate it out. 20 to 30 percent was this single-use plastic bag, which had no name, unbranded single-use plastic bags, which were just used and thrown away. The moment it lost its utility, it was thrown away. They constitute 20 to 30 percent, but the rest 70 percent is multi-layer packaging, which neither this ban nor any of the mechanism is dealing with this at point of time.